Hi everyone, today is day 67 of my 90 day video challenge and um, it's about 9.40 at night. I spent most of the day really um, spending the time with my family. There's chores I have to take care of and which is something that I probably won't be able to do on a Friday unless I take a day off if I'm doing a 9 to 5 um, job, right? And um, yesterday, I've heard this acronym for job, which is just over broke, which kind of makes sense for some people. I think for others, maybe not. But then working for someone always, you don't have the flexibility, right? I mean, I talked about yesterday when I was following Jeff's um, daily um, activities where he wakes up really early and he has to sleep very um pretty early as well before probably everybody else falls asleep but but think about it this way he's doing it because he wants to and he's the more he works the more um, he works toward his goal the faster he'll get to where he needs to be so he's being paid and rewarded for for his efforts just think about it, if you're in a 9 to 5 position and you work day and night for maybe 18 hours a day, would you get paid more? Mm, most likely not. I remember I was a consultant several years back that I do get paid for overtime. But the overtime you have to actually um, receive approval for from your management, right? So it's not something that you can just say, well, I'm going to work for a few more hours so I can um, get paid more or or reach my goal faster no um, even if you want to work more well I guess you can um, if you're not if you don't want to get paid or compensated for it you can always work more hours but your management's not going to approve for it right so um, also today I went to my uncle's house and my uncle actually lives in a public housing and um kind of makes me think about the I guess the dim diminishing middle class that everybody talks about right you're either very wealthy and you live the life you want um, many times people like that probably pay less taxes than we do at least comparatively to their income um, and the fact that because they make more even if they have to pay taxes proportionally, it doesn't affect them as much. And and for people who are in the lower class or poor, people who are probably barely at the poverty line, poverty line that they don't really have to pay taxes. My uncle does not have to pay taxes, and he lives in a nearly rent-free um, unit where right now they're actually doing renovation for free. Just imagine if you're in the middle class and you're actually paying taxes, would anybody renovate your house for free? No, right? I feel like we, us being the middle class, is being squeezed as much as possible, right? Because the government really can't ask people who doesn't have money for, for money. And they're not strong enough to ask the wealthy people for money you know just think about it remember I remember a few years back when the market crashed and all the corporations are um, near bankruptcy or they're losing a lot of money what what did we do the government actually bailed them out they gave them money because they're afraid that they might close down and even more people would be out of out of a job so where do they get their money? Us, right? And I think it just makes me think about how hard do we really want to stay here? That sometimes if you give up, we should just quit and not really <laughs> work anymore and just apply for government benefits, right? Or either that, or we have to try to get out of our middle class and work our way and swim really, really hard upstream to the upper class. And that is definitely not a very easy path. 
path that a lot of us, I think, become stagnant and where we just give up. We don't really, don't have the perseverance to actually continue. And I am going through, I'm starting that journey right now. And perhaps some of you are as well or thinking about it. I can assure you it's not easy. I mean, it's not like I, I am there, but I have basically cut off my what's the word my path of retreat um, I can't back out I can't turn around so I can only go forward and hopefully that would actually make me um, a better person a better entrepreneur because do you hear many times that people said when you don't have a way to back out that that you would actually find a way out for yourself right because we need to survive so um, well I just have to keep going I guess and um, tomorrow tomorrow will be a fun day um, and tonight I'm gonna try to get some stuff done if not I'm gonna relax you know, I think lately my, my, my partner has really helped me to calm down a little bit and be a little bit more relaxed about the future and also the current because I'm getting very, very stressed out about um, the lack of progress that I've had for the last couple weeks but but we did some um, we made we did make some progress yesterday um, we did a script for the, um, the landing page for our funnel to sell our webinar so um, I do feel a little bit more optimistic so many thanks to him if you're watching that I am glad you are there to help me to support me through this journey because I don't think I'll be able to do that without you. So, um, you know, many times I think in our paths, we meet a lot of people. And if we're lucky, we find ones that will actually um, help you along and pick you up when you fall. And uh, yeah, so I hope that I can be there for you to pick you up. (laughs) <laughs> and if any of you are watching this, and I hope that my journey will help you um, in your journey as well, feel free to comment or, you know, um, below the wood video, we can help each other along. So, yeah. So tomorrow I'll be going to a adoption show again, bringing my foster kitty over, hoping that she will find a forever family. And also there is a... Um, a dance event at um, Franklin Park, I believe, because it is the organizer's 50th wedding anniversary. I mean, that is a big deal. So um, I want to be there, and my dance partner and I, and, and the people from the studio will be there to support them and celebrate their big day. So we'll have fun. Um, all right. I hope